check out this latte art. So cute. Yes. I have a little trick, like a little new like thing that I will share with you guys. So I've just currently read an article. They talked about if you fold your leg this way and sit, and if your knee go over your shoulder, that means you have long legs. Wow. But no, Wow. One inch. My leg is pretty long, I'm considering my height. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know if you can agree on that. Oh, you're like, Maybe it's really you long. Have really long. Really yes. This is called a long leg. <laughs> For those who don't know, that is maybe an average leg with a short torso. Oh, but also, one thing. I also read an art another article about smiles. Apparently, my smile is not very good. <laughs> <laughs> she just got done talking about how charming she is. Couldn't capture that, but for another time. <laughs> me the best surprise thing ever she's been telling me there's a surprise and I needed to know what it is oh that makes sense because you said pay four dollars yeah okay <laughs> I had to pay for it for a surprise and I was like okay what are you gonna do make me just give you money <laughs> anyway oh it's so time so excited okay. good morning it's the next morning I just woke up actually I've been awake for a while but I just got out of bed and got dressed and all that kind of stuff it's like nine no it's like 8 45 ish anyway it's my first full day here in boston last night um so we went to gong cha i took a little bit like a footage on my phone and that was like so just like a little background info if you don't know when i studied abroad in south korea i loved gong cha and i would go there all the time it was kind of like my favorite like coffee shop even though it's not really coffee but like my favorite place to go like do homework and just chill so anyway i it's just like so rare for me to have gong cha after i had left south korea and so it had been like what like 14 months since i last had it and it's like i'm not as into it as i was when i was like obviously living there and like passing by it every day but it was just like really exciting and she i didn't know they were opening one in boston and she was like wait i have a surprise for you and then like we walked by and i was like no oh my gosh so it was really exciting but anyway yeah, so we just got Gong Cha and then we went to Seoul Tokboki for dinner, which is a really good Korean restaurant in Austin. We went last time. Uh, now, for breakfast, I'm going to go to Tate, which is my oh, my love in Boston. I, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with Tate. It's so freaking good. Um, You know, I was going to go to the one, there's one like near where she lives in Fenway, but I know they opened one in Back Bay and I need to go to Mainwell to return these shoes before... I do my next thing, so no, I'll just go to the one here. Anyway, so I'm gonna head to. Ah! Don't mind me just falling. Um, let me just sit, pop a squat, and read this desk chair over here. So I'm gonna go to Tate. I don't know what I'm gonna get yet, but it's gonna be good. And then I need to return some Madewell shoes that I bought the other night in DC. They fit me like a glove. But when I was buying them, I didn't realize till like last minute that she was actually just giving me the ones that I was trying on and that there weren't other ones. Like that was the last pair they had in the store. And I like could have ordered it, but I sort of just wanted it then so I could wear it like around Boston and stuff. But then I realized that was dumb because like you can see that it's worn because people have been trying it on in the store. You know, it's like the one they have on display. So anyway, I'm going to go to the Madewell this morning in Boston to return those shoes and then I'm going on a law school visit. I got accepted to this law school in Boston and I don't know, I kind of already decided I don't wanna go just cause they're super low ranked and their like employment and bar passage rate statistics aren't very good. Um, but I didn't really, like I was still strongly considering it when I bought these plane tickets obviously cause I was like, well I need to like go visit the school and see what it's like. Cause it gave me a really decent scholarship um but i don't know we'll see i'm trying to keep an open mind because it would save me a lot of money to come here but on the other hand i'd be giving up going to a much better school so um anyway a little outfit of the day i'm wearing this 
t-shirt kind of thing it's like worky shirt material from ann taylor i got this oh my goodness like two years ago or something and i love it i wear it all the time for casual outfits and for more business casual or like professional outfits but yeah so i have that on and then i have my super comfortable pants from banana republic on they sometimes feel like leggings but they're like work pants so yeah and then i'm gonna throw on my tan sweater and i'm gonna be good to go I visited the school, a lot to think about, but anyway, wrapped lunch at Boston Public Market, and now I think I'm gonna go shopping around Newberry Street, maybe get some coffee later, we'll see. So I'm back at Rita's now. Um, I didn't get anything while I was shopping, just because, I don't know, I didn't really see anything that I loved, and um, it was so bright. Like, my head was kind of starting to hurt, and also I feel really dry, even though I feel like I've been drinking enough water, but, Anyway, yeah, the sun was like right in my eyes. It was super bright and it was just like, ugh. Um, and I just felt like I needed some time to chill. Oh, let me check my steps. I've been like wanting to know how many steps I've taken. What? It says I've taken 2,000 steps today. That has to be wrong. Let me try to like reconnect my phone because that's ridiculous. I've taken significantly more than that. I walked like miles. Um, anyway, yeah, so. I'm just gonna go on my laptop, maybe watch YouTube, maybe watch Shane the Virgin, maybe try to think about my law school stuff, although I sort of don't want to think about it right now, if you know what I mean, so, um, yeah, and then I'm meeting Rita for dinner at 7, or while well, she finishes school at 7, so, yeah, I think she's taking me to this, um, like, vegan kind of restaurant for dinner, so I'm excited to try that. Okay, I had to give a quick update, I don't know why my watch is not showing the right thing but i have like over 12,000 it's 12,559 steps wow that's crazy and we haven't even gone to dinner yet so i love walking a lot though it feels good you know so guess who forgot to vlog at dinner again me um but we went to this place called life alive and it was so good it was totally vegan um and i got the best chocolate it was called a smoothie, but it was definitely more of a milkshake. It had this vegan ice cream mixed in. Amazing. Anyway, peace out.